a wonderful tournament here at Wasteland Games yep. in Duluth, Georgia. Not only has the gaming been incredible, um, but the food has been excellent. Justin, did you have that uh, lobster quesadilla? I did. It was scrumptiliumptious. It was pico de gallo de great. Pico de Grey. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Um, but we want to say thanks to those guys for providing us with some epic, epic food. Uh, today, we have seen a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah. That last game of Ascension, again, James, wonderful job dealing with those constructs. Yes. Um, you know, kind of a mix of factions. Uh, our Munchkin game. Back-to-back -back weeks of back divine back intervention of clear divinity players. to the divinity. This shows how, much, how powerful those clerics are. So here's my question, because you and I don't do yep. it a lot. We never play and we play in the office. We're big time office yeah. players. We're not uh, we usually defeat Cam and Alfredo, but it comes down to you versus yeah, me. Yeah, most of the time, yes. Do you, are you switching? Are you thinking maybe Cleric is a more powerful, uh, you know, uh, class to play? Um, not necessarily. Um, I wouldn't, I'm not, not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to change my game now. I'm just going to change my game to the focus of King of Tokyo. Let's do right it. Now. All right, that Let's championship go. table. Here we go. Here you guys. There's a new board in front of us. It's what we've been using for all of our tournaments uh, as of late to track both points and health. Not only does it make it easier for you guys as players to see what everyone else's scores are, it makes it easier for everyone seeing us to actually see what everyone's scores is because those sadly, those tiny, really cool little placards don't really show up that well on camera. So this will be tracked with uh, you guys' tokens. You guys each have your own token face for your characters, both double-sided. They're all here at zero points right now, 10 health. That's how it starts at. Extra tokens. We also have the really cool electrical little uh, cubes for energy, so it makes it a little more flashy. On that, the game is exactly the same. Uh, here are three cards. We're going to put them over here on the top. And I'm going to reveal them out. We have, uh, we're only making it stronger, heal, and alien origin with penguin being dead. So we have those three cards. Uh, so we have, we're only keeping it stronger. Uh, those are the keep card. And then that, if you have any questions about what the cards do, feel free to ask. Uh, if you card. need to grab them, feel free to grab them. We'll pull them closer. One less Other than that, uh, let's start the game off. So roll to see goes first. Most fists go first. Two. This is, this is awesome, Justin, because this is our second game of family. Zero. Rivalry. Yes. <laughs> we have a, a father son duo in here. So. Colin Wayne. Colin Wayne. Um, and then we see a lot of smashes to see who goes first. You talked about Alien Origin. What else do we have in the middle out there? Uh, Zero. I see a we're only making it stronger, which is when you lose two health or more, gain one energy. That's a keep card. Yes, it is. Sorry, I had something in my eye. I'm trying to search for it. You're emotional, I know. I, lo I just love me some King of Tokyo. It smells like it's zero. It smells like great times. So you need to roll just one fist. It was cool this week. We got to play King of Tokyo with our, uh, our Canadian brethren, Sir Josh. Yep. Right in the corner. Okay. So that is it. You guys are at 10 health, zero points. Whenever you're ready, you may start playing. Here we go. Here we go. That final card in the middle is a heal card. It's a discard. We and got it's a plus two heart. We so. got a mecha dragon. We got a cyber or a space penguin. And we got a gigazor, I believe. Gigazor. Gigazor. He will be featured in Jurassic World 2. Three energies already for cool. There we go. If you are collecting energy at the moment. What are so you three, going to? I, I do what are you going to take from the middle? Yeah, you move in there. Uh, I like the energy. alien origin. You Tokyo, the you do? Anytime it's less, Tokyo those bigger Tokyo cards. If you can just pay Tokyo. less of energy, it's it's come. It's going to help you out big time. Uh, and I believe he has to jump in right now. Again, we want to say congrats to the real Reptar for yes. winning our contest Dim three energy. of our Linner with Ascension of our Dinfast our Brinner Dinfast. I can't get over it. It just feels like Dinfest. Battery monster comes up next. Just cost one less to buy this. Ooh, there's a there's a battery on the board. I think. I don't want to get too excited, but Christian said Team Tim. By the way, there's also a 60 second timer. Or this is the happiest I've been in is, uh, years. Whatever, Christian. Whatever. Right. Okay. Guess what? Plenty of warning though before it happens. I think he's excited that my beard's coming back, uh -huh. and you shaved it. He's only voting for whoever has good. Ooh! Faith attack! Right. Attack! Attack! That, that was an instinct so, song. Attack, attack, attack. To review, you, once you're in Tokyo, you attack everyone outside of Tokyo. When you're outside of Tokyo, you only attack people inside Tokyo. Cannot heal inside Tokyo, however. When you explain rules, it's like a jazz musician making jazz music. It's probably a passion of mine that I have. As we see the pad come off after a, an excited roll for the there by Cole. Gotcha. It's them, not me. Okay. <laughs> 
Chris got some threes. Okay, starting with some VP. And last week we saw a different strategy than we've seen most games. There's another three. Sorry for cutting you off. But no, yes. that's okay. Uh, cutoffs are what we're all about when Chris is rolling. So you gain four points when you total up to... Ah, because he's wearing a tank. I like it. But yes, we saw Michael uh, really push the attack, attack, attack. Staying in Tokyo as long as possible while other people are trying to heal. Very interesting to see how this works. Cole again, it looks like he might hold on to the smash. Oh, he's keeping on the smashes. Yeah, and he looks like he's following the ways of the Michael. And just to confirm, I can, uh, this is my last roll, I can put these back? Yes, you can. Okay, just wondering. Um, debate, debate, I debate. Will put one back. No, mm. don't, no. Three heal. Yep. Interesting move. Uh, I'll just there. immediately spin that, okay. and by this, it costs one less because of my. Yeah, but first, though, they do take uh, one damage. One damage. Each, one damage. So one I, get, I do get healed one because of my heart. No, because you're in Tokyo. You're in Tokyo. Oh, yeah, right. right. Okay. Yeah. Tokyo. There Thank it is. You. Uh, and then I get six from the bank and put it on here for three, four, five, So it might be a beginner here at King of Tokyo, yeah. but uh, either um, way. It's going to be fun to see how he plays the game. Let's talk to him. Yeah, see, let's see what he has to say. Let's about our game around the ground. Tokyo. Hi, once again, Nick Crookshank here from Umba TV. We are in Duluth, Georgia, at the Wasteland Gaming, and we've got we're talking with Cole, and he is playing in the King of Tokyo final. So, how old were you from? Eighteen. Uh, I'm from here, Georgia. Very cool. So have you ever been to Las Vegas before? No, I have not. <laughs> ever. All right. But what made you choose King of Tokyo over all the other games here today? Uh, it just seemed the most interesting one. It's giant uh, monsters fighting each other for uh, Tokyo. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, I hear this is a family affair. Your father is Wayne. We just spoke to him. There's a little trash talk. So, this is also for a trip to Vegas and for some money at the end. But it's kind of a grudge match. So, what do you think? Are you going to take him out? He stands no chance. Oh, really harsh? Oh, he's, he's going down. Oh, he's going down. He's going down. I like it. I like it a lot. So, in the act of taking him down, do you kind of have a power move you're going to make? What's your general strategy for this final table of King of Tokyo? Well, I'm kind of new to the game, but what seemed to work for me is uh, get as much energy as possible and uh, buy these cards to power myself up and then go for the win. Awesome. Are you going to trash talk him a little bit at the table? Is there any other way? No, there is not. <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. We're really rooting for you. Thanks, bud. Like stay in Tokyo More family least. rivalry. You oh. gotta love it. I, I do. I do love it. Man, any chance to play my dad in something competitive besides basketball, golf, baseball, and football, like I would sweet. really yearn for him. Yeah, but it's your fault. It's a claim. <laughs> well, to, to monster, I think that's now you Now you know some secret about Four <laughs> hearts. Four hearts. Healing up. He has that battery power card. But uh, he can't heal because he's still inside Tokyo, I believe. Yeah, I know. But I love that battery power card. For three, you're essentially getting six energy okay. over a couple Let's turns. and add that to my there it is. The gelatinous cubes of joy. He's taking some damage though. He's probably gonna have to yield soon or else Dada is gonna uh, whip him with a lizard tail. Uh, they get two energy and uh, do one damage. Oh. Do you think Gigazor and, uh, and Mecha Dragon when they fight like, do they ever get locked with like tiny arms? Like, as one who's seen them both fight, um, the answer is yes. That's so exciting. It's not not exciting. I'm confused. Double negative. Oh, there it is! Energize! Spend eight, get nine. Because we all know that pays off at the end of the day. <laughs> that, again, is a card that Justin and I don't fully understand, but we like. Here's Wayne. Let's see if he's going to stomp on his son. Oh! Two attacks. Just small. You were at one, I put you three. Three. Yeah, you haven't scored any points yet. Okay, never mind, yeah. Yeah. Because you win Tokyo Heals, got money, never roll for points. Okay, he's going to reroll those because he's in Tokyo. And he's going to. That's going to be his final roll, so nothing happens with the threes and the hearts, but. We heard from son. Let's hear from father. Are you up for that? Yeah, come on, Papa. Let us hear. Yes, yes. All right, uh, when I lose two or more life, I gain one energy. So, Wayne, what game store are you here representing today? Titan Comics. 
Very cool. Where's it located? Just around the corner uh, in uh, Duluth, Georgia. Very awesome. So what game are you playing and why did you choose that game? Well, King of Tokyo came over with some friends. It looked like a really nice, fairly uh, nice mechanics and uh, easy to learn. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Very cool. So this is actually a family affair, if I'm not mistaken. I believe your son Cole is here today, correct? That's right. He is. So do you have a strategy to knock him out first? Is there a little bad blood? Is this a grudge match? I mean, there's a trip to Vegas on the line, but bragging rights. That's right. I'm thinking of grounding, taking allowance, uh, some other kind of punitive to keep him out of the competition. <laughs> Very cool. So, and here's my final question. So if you won today and you won the free trip to Vegas and then you won in Vegas and you won the $10,000, what would you do with it? Uh, I'd probably buy more games. <laughs> That's what I'd probably do. Maybe go on a vacation. Very nice. Very nice. Well, good luck, and we hope for the best. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Taking away allowance. <laughs> Seems like a, that's a dad thing. If I, that's a dad, dad joke. My dad took away my allowance when I sagged my umbros. I saw the evacuation orders get thrown back out there. You know what, he did talk about, Real, I want to touch on real quick, the mechanics of this game, how it isn't overly complicated to learn uh, and still provides a, a heck of a lot of excitement. You feel the same way, Justin? Oh, I feel heck of a the same way. <laughs> Listen, I got some bad news for, um, for Cole. If he doesn't start getting it together, this could be it for him. You're not wrong. Three health, bring you down. Gives you around to seven. Go down to six. I get one energy. And he does deal a decent amount of damage there, but he's in Tokyo. So let's see. He's probably going to have to yield here. He's at five and five. He's in Tokyo. He can't heal the dice. Yeah. Forgot. Sorry. He healed last turn because he bought the card. Yep. I can't afford anything, so, or, and I don't want to. Yeah. That's. Here goes Wayne. Wayne's world. Party on. Roll some dice. I'm surprised we didn't make that reference earlier. Yeah, I don't know what happened to us. We used to be really on things. And by on things, I mean like Diet Coke. <laughs> Not me. I don't drink Diet Coke. I don't drink soda. You drink soda. Come Not on. Not my thing. Stop it. I love two of our favorite cards. One of my favorite Ill illustrations on the board, National Guard, with that monster lurking in the back. Uh, as, um, oh, he's finally leaving. Drinking, he's getting smart. Coffee. He's at there four. He smart down to four. Same card, right? No, yeah. didn't change. Justin, is there anything you want to say to our road crew today? Yeah. Christian, specifically, your team Justin this whole time. Now your team Tim. Just where your, where your loyalties lie. That's all I have to ask. I don't want to thank Christian for anything just yet. Because I feel like there's some backstabbing about to come. But I would like to say thanks to our road crew for putting on a heck of a show. Very cool work. We love the, the board. is amazing. We've actually had some people request that board, by the way. Yeah. Like me. Make a dragon. Cole, Cole, Cole. So we have Cole, Make a Dragon, then for Google. It's only for Wayne, us. Wayne, and then for uh, Mega Penguin, or Space Penguin. Chris. Chris. So we have Chris, Wayne, and Cole. Cole, Cole, Cole Chris, and Wayne. Sorry about that. I honestly forgot to do instructions. Uh, apparently, Dinkleswerb would like to spend $10,000 worth of board oh, games. Uh, uh, that's actually, not a good uh, investment. Is using my phone to get a ride. And Christian Uma says, it's got to be Josh stealing my phone. I won't <laughs> sell you out, Justin. Justin uh, is hyper awesome. We, what? We need to find him. You just got yeah. Christian. Um, <laughs> Wow. I told you I would be backstabbed. <laughs> We're playing a real-life munchkin game with you, yeah, backstabbing you. <laughs> with a butter knife. <laughs> Let's see what Chris can do here. Yeah, our player Cole here who needs to give his phone uh, to I, I love it. any of our Twitch using it to get a ride home. Uh, followers could tell me who is on Chris's shirt. I've been unable to identify ah, the lady, right. but I want it. <laughs> Sad. Is that Sigourney Sad. Weaver? Who is that? Out of all the people, you would Major just pick Sigourney yeah. Weaver. I don't know, I've just been in that Sorry, alien Okay, case. so we have two damage. Let me solve this real quick. You take two, bring you down to six. You heal two, bring you up to eight. You gain one whole energy. Would you like to stay in Tokyo? What's he at? Eight. He's at eight. Uh, no. Coming in, Christian. 
Okay, you move in. Move yourself up to the scoreboard. There we are, perfect. Pass it over to Cole. I got his name right, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think. I Have think. him come over if you find him to the black curtain so we can hand him the phone. Ooh, nice threes right there by Cole. Oh. Nice. Everyone's going to know what's going to happen at the rival tournament series. <laughs> Take the threes, Cole. You know you want to. Do that. Do but that he needs three. to heal. That's the thing. It, he's Except again, four. Yeah. Ah, he's taking it. Wow. You got Push it to the here. limit. You're going to need those hearts, buddy. It's oh, it's don't do the smash, though. D he can't. He can't help it. That was his third. Keep it. Oh, no, boy. Take a whole damage. If I am his opponent, I let him go in. I oh, yield yeah. on purpose. Two more from this. I love it's CJ's really dig at... He goes, you, you just... You take three points for you, three only a damage. Three as if, like, <laughs> the, the, the person didn't do anything. <laughs> hey, if you can judge... If you can do a subtle dig... Yo, what up, Nick? Look at all that energy, thinking about what to do. I would actually, this is a this is a instance where I would buy Energize. Uh, yeah. Spin two and discard all three. Oh, oh, what? Yeah, but he needs healing cards. He needs stuff that's going to give him monster band-aids by Johnson & Johnson. Monster band-aids for when your cuts Guys, are bigger than normal. You really ran with that one. To clarify, your <laughs> alien origins do not work on parasite tentacles. Ooh. I, uh, well, I'll just pay the full cost then. No, uh, as in, using the ability of Parasite Tentacles to buy someone else's card does not give you a discount. Oh, okay, so yeah. uh, I'll just pay three and buy that then. Yeah. So he's going to take Parasitic Tentacles. This is, this is great. Does anyone else have a card? Though? I don't know. <laughs> Energy. Uh, I can't afford anything else, I pass. Okay. He has buying a lot of cards. Whenever you get the chance, you are... Cards can only do you good if there are other cards on the board for you to interact with when you have Parasitic ten Tentacles, so... Couple threes, got a smash. And at the moment... Gigazor has just one victory Sorry. point. It, it's looking like we're going to see a monster <laughs> smash out. <laughs> yeah. There's a smash. Oh, well. Not what Wayne was looking for right there. One damage I was thinking, going from seven to six. Healing one for you. Germ Daddy says, I agree, Justin, but I don't know what they're saying they agree to. I would like to look at the top part. I believe it. Asher? What's that? Who knows? I'll buy. Okay, tick tock, tick tock. What's going to happen? That's the sound of my um, audible clock. So you want to put this back? I'll spend six on the plus four. I see tank out there, which is a fantastic card if you're playing for VP. Tank that incredibly powerful card. It's going to give you a plus four. Healing ray. So, uh, you know, if you're close to that victory point win, it's a great card to have, but you're going to lose three mm -hmm. cards. Whenever you're ready. I feel like Wayne doesn't have the animosity to want to take out his son at this point, and that could be detrimental. Still looking for an answer to whoever is on Chris's shirt. Oh, there we see. So wow, that's a big roll. Are now eliminated. Four smashes. Oh, wow. That is. <laughs> All those cards have no, no effect. No effect. And Wayne and down to three. Yep, is Chris gone. flexing the muscles. All the talk's been on the Wayne and Cole, son and dad. And Chris is like, nah, nah. I, I'm over uh, here. I might he have said, to go talk to that guy. Make sure he. That's a Nick. Uh, I can stay. What's happening? <laughs> Chris said, nah, bro. My monster's about to take it. Yeah, take it to the house. You must stay forever. Oh darn. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. Let's see what Wayne can do here. This is your life. Now. It, it, he's got a heal. He's so gonna dead. need to heal. I know. That's doing so well. And now the VP points the are gonna points. go pretty rapidly. I mean, who needs healing when you're winning the game? Yeah, I know. 
CJ's facial hair is coming in fantastic, by the way. Yeah, I, he's been working out for a while, and he, he won't let up on I'm letting us know. I'm in utter adoration of his facial hair. You heard me say it out loud. Oh, and there we go. We're back at Evans. Even Stevens says Shia LaBeouf. Tinkle Swerve says taking the parasitic tentacles could be a decent defensive play. Well, no more, Tinkle. <laughs> no more. Rest in peace, parasitic tentacles. <laughs> I think it was when someone got eliminated. Making time. That is slightly delayed. For obvious reasons. <laughs> And there we go again. They are both at four health. Space Penguin and Gigazor tangled at a mess of monstery feeriness inside of and outside of Tokyo. Who will be smashing their way to Las Vegas to smell yes. the strip so and a chance at a lot of cash? Other monsters. That's a serious and question, though, Justin. Who no will? It, basically, and they have to pay you to uh, energy. <laughs> Tinkle Swear says it's not a very good defensive play if you're dead. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Just true. Yeah. Yes. Oh man, I am jazzed. I am flexing, but no one can see because I'm on the other side of the wall here at Wasteland Games with you, Justin. Can you tell people what my flex looks like? Much like the weather outside muggy. Shoot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Here we go. Oh, and there we see he is one smash away from victory. Oh! <laughs> oh! With a little extra English. Wow! Oh! Really Sigourney Weaver on his shirt. He spins his way to the top. Wrist taking, really. I guess that was like, yeah. I got too cocky. What a spin! You literally had all the cards in your thing. And oh yeah. yeah. One bad roll. I was not expecting four damage. Uh, yeah, that's but awesome. Still, yeah. yeah. Oh, and then, nice man. Dude. Happens all to you. Wow. Happens again. <laughs> yeah, you just oh, killed both of us. That was nice. Four like dice. father, like son. Yeah, we we both died in the same way. Good same for Chris. Way. Yeah, yeah. With dude, four. Yeah. Great man. job, Chris. That You're on the awesome. Vegas. Wow. Let me show you this card. Um, uh, it was the kill you both cards. CJ could not have said that better. He, he, he summed it up. Literally, those cards could a little not extra, be A little extra it. spin on that. Yeah, you did. You saw like it was like a, a little flick. <laughs> he did like a flick, and it, it was like sifting. It looked like the, uh, that whole thing in that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, the one with yeah. the, where he spins the thing in that uh, Christopher Nolan. What's the uh, movie Revenant? No, Inception. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say too. Exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> that was that, that was, was a, a fun game. We saw we saw Cole buy all those buy all those cards. Yep. And like he said, one bad roll kind of ruined it for him. Dinkle Swerve summed it up best on Twitch. You can't play him if you're dead. That Paris that and Tentacles is... would have been fun, but no one had really any cards. Dinkle anymore. Swerve, you're not wrong. No, you're not. You you just may be right. Um, but we'll think about it. All the talk was the Wayne and Cole. Son, mm -hmm. father kind of relationship, mm -hmm. and Chris is kind of sitting there wearing his royal hat, just okay, okay, roll this, roll this, and then add a little, add a little extra on that last roll. Right. It was this is actually the second week. This is actually one of the first weeks that we've seen a smash. Like you smash your way to the top versus yeah. uh, versus a VP. Big, yeah. So uh, congratulations to Chris. That was big. Well, that was well nice. done, sir. Well done. We respect your monster. We respect your tank top. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing you in Vegas, Justin. Um, if people are out there watching, can they still make their way to Vegas? I mean, this yes. is number nine, but we've got more coming up. Next week we are in Chesapeake. Right. Gonna and have a fun time there. Right. And if you're not registered, you can go up, go to the LMQs. Go to the LMQs, win that. And then go to the regional and win. Yes. Uh, so, that I mean, there's a chance for you to make your way to Vegas. Again, this tournament, largest tabletop of 2017. Let's talk to our winner. Yep. Here we go. Christian with our winner. Chris from Chris. Geek Out Games of South Carolina. Chris, how's it feel to be victorious? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. It was exciting. Let's say, man, I mean, you showed up early. You've been waiting. Do you think, like, this This just was your moment? I mean, was... was was it worth the wait? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. It was a lot of fun, and it was a, it was a good game. It was fun. Now, you know, I didn't get to watch the complete game, but a little tongue in cheek here. Would you say you clawed your way to victory? I don't know if I'd. Maybe I'd say that. 
Awesome, awesome. All right, so now that you're, you're booked, ready to go to Vegas, I mean, any plans, first thing you're going to do there? Um, I don't know, I guess I'm probably going to meet up with uh, my buddy from San Francisco who's playing in the same thing, so it's going to be some rivalry there. All right. Any any shots you want to fire, your buddy, cross-country rivalry here? I don't know, he saw the two, two four claws in a row. I don't know, there's not much you can do against that. Sounds like Chris has the heart of the dice. With that, we're going to go, oh, we got plenty of time. See, that's for center. I don't know. I'm excited, too. Anyway, all right, one more question for you, then. Uh, so I heard you're a, you're a Clemson fan. You're, you're in Atlanta. Anything you want to you shout out? Um, you went to Clemson. Yeah. I was a fan. My bad. Well, uh, I'm, I'm a fan. Um, yeah, I think this will probably go down in history as the second biggest Clemson win, I think this year it's a great answer <laughs> solid i back it i back it deshaun watson and it all all right we're heading back to tim and justin brenner rivalries clemson san francisco vegas deshaun oh, watson no. and chris that's all you have to say I love it. Uh, good luck to him. I'm really excited to see how it plays out with him and his buddy, yeah. uh, who's in San Fran. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll perhaps be able to preview that at some point and see. I like his, I think it's called the Chris Claus. Two four claws in a row. Two four claws. Chris Claus. Uh, he says that you never see it. His nails He's not wrong. are out and he is ready to smash. It's very cool. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely very cool. A lot of him, not only him, but our earlier winners. From Ascension. Yeah, we had James, a huge yes. shout out to our, our Christy from our Munchkin. James, Christy. Uh, we had Amy won our Epic Spell Wars. Yeah. Uh, congrats to all of them. We are looking forward to seeing you guys at our grand finals in Vegas in October. Next week, though. Uh, 27th. Chesapeake. The 29th. Rowing to Chesapeake. What are you doing, man? I'm rowing are to you Chesapeake. Are playing golf wrongly? I'm rowing to Chesapeake. Oh, the, he's still rowing. I'm still so rowing. I'll be rowing all the way into Chesapeake. We've got a long trip. It's a big canoe ride. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back with more Unrivaled next week, the largest tabletop tournament of 2017. I'm Tim, and I'm still Tim. I'm Justin. There he is. Challenge him.